Five-year-old girl has been badly mauled by dogs at her home in the small Brevard County community of Sharps. The girl was rushed to Arnold Palmer Hospital after she was found bleeding in the yard. No one saw the attack. West News Dan Billow is at the animal shelter in Titusville. So, Dan, what will happen to the dogs? And let's start out with what the very latest is with the victim. Uh, the victim is in critical but stable condition, Brett. The dog's fate is not clear. They're quarantined here at the animal shelter for the time being. And as for the little girl, she was found by friends after the attack and her father saying she's critical but stable. But it's, it's going to be touch and go for the next few days until she gets through this initial trauma. The dogs implicated in the vicious attack don't look vicious at all. At least one's a pit bull. They were stained with blood when impounded after the attack in Sharps yesterday. When they finished with the helpless little girl at her house down this private drive, she lay barely conscious and bleeding very badly. She was out of it. She was not responsive. She could barely breathe because she knew she was all clogged up. Frank Orwick, her father, says no one saw the attack. Friends found the girl lying on the ground, somehow still alive after the mauling. I think it's horrible. Um, you know, I understand the love of these dogs, but to be honest with you, you know, these dogs were bred to fight. She was laying there in the field, unconscious, with blood on her. I ran out, picked her up, and carried her in the house, tried to find where the blood was coming from. Just so much. He says the dog that led the attack had been abandoned on his property by a friend. The sheriff's office is investigating. Well, as they were family dogs and there were no there were no witnesses to the incident, so we're not pursuing the criminal side of that right now either. One further note on the condition of the girl, although her father is saying she's touch and go, a news release from the sheriff's office paints a little brighter picture, saying she's improving and will be going home in a few days. Uh, the Department of Children and Families is in on this investigation as well, looking at whether this may involve any neglect due to the child being home and uh, vulnerable to those dogs without any parents watching at that time. We're live in Titusville, Brevard County, Dan Billow, West 2 News.